In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I've got a secret. Miraculous! Thanks, Marinette. Enjoy training! Sorry I'm late, Adrian. <laughs> Why did Marinette take off that fast? Because she doesn't take fencing class with oh. us. Mm. Like what you're seeing? Huh? What? Uh -huh. My watercolor, do you like it? It's like... You can almost see through her eyes, deep into her soul. So beautiful. Oh, the watercolor, I mean. It's so beautiful. <sighs> You're going to ask Marinette out. Huh? But why? Because you obviously have feelings for her. Call her. Of course I don't. She's just a friend. You look at her the way I'd wished you looked at me. Call her. No, you're wrong. There are none so blind as those who will not look at themselves in the mirror. Call her. But ask her out? How? And what do I say? If your feelings were as clear as you're pretending, you wouldn't have any reason to hesitate like that. Hey guys! Huh? I got stickers for the band! Oh, oh, yeah! Yeah! I made one version with the record label logo on it, and another without it! You rock, Marinette. Thanks. We shouldn't use their logo for now. The record company still hasn't sent the contract. Yeah, they may not. Oh, don't say that, Julica! Producers keep their word! Yeah, that's what Bob Ross said. Adrian? Oh, Adrian! Adrian! <laughs> oh, uh, would you look at that? It's Adrian calling. I guess I'll just answer casually. <laughs> Hola, como estas, amigo? Uh, um... Good, I think. You know, Marinette, a lot has happened in the last few months. I feel like something's changed about the way I feel about you, but I'm kind of confused. Could we maybe meet up and talk it through? The way you feel about me has changed and you want to meet? The thing is, I'm really busy right now and... Uh, I can make time! Where do you want to meet up? Well, how about the Greven Museum? Uh, the Greven Museum? Okay, great! Super great! Yes, the Greven Museum. Okay, see you later then. <laughs> Marinette and Adrian are going on a date! Uh, yay! We gotta celebrate! <laughs> <laughs> you guys go ahead. The Greven Museum? Yes, why? Did I do something wrong? On a romantic date? You told me that my feelings were unclear, and you were right. Something's changed, but I don't know what. And since I have a feeling that it happened somewhere around the time we went to the Greven Museum... Why haven't we been molded together in the plaster of destiny? Marble to marble, wax lips against wax lips, entwined for eternity. It just seemed like the right place to meet. Marinette mm -hmm. is a real artist. Yeah. I love the stickers. Is something wrong? No, everything's fine. I just wanted to stick the stickers. Whenever I make stickers, I like to stick them myself. It's important for a designer of stickers. Oh, Luca, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know how to feel. I, I'm completely confused. I can't be in love with Adrian, because when I'm in love with Adrian, I make a giant mess of things. A few days ago, I made a huge mistake because of my feelings for him, and I ended up losing some very valuable things. Marinette. What's past is past. What matters is what tune your heart is playing now. Well, that's the thing. There's no tune anymore. Maybe because there's too much noise around you. Spending some time alone with Adrian will be a chance for you to listen to how you're feeling. But I can't go back to the Greven Museum. Not with him. <sighs> Whoa! Eternity sounds like a long time! 
But isn't spending time with them what you've always wanted? Yeah, I know, but that's what's weird. We've been schoolmates for months now, and I've been in love with him without ever being able to really talk to him. I've imagined stories with him, and then in real life, everything just failed miserably. What if that's all there is to it? Stories I told myself. What if I don't actually know him, and now he's coming to me? I should be happy. But the truth is, it just makes me uncomfortable. You're simply discerning between your dream Adrian and the real Adrian. But that's a good thing, Marinette. That's the only way you'll know if you really love him. But I'm scared, Luca. If only I had a friend to go with me, just so I'm less scared. Uh, why is Marinette bringing Luca along? Is she still in love with him? You're just experiencing jealousy, Adrian. I... you think so? So that's why he wanted to see me. When he said his feelings had changed, what he meant was he's with Kagami. Well, at least the situation's clear now. Stop jumping to conclusions. Marinette, Luca, are you guys together? Yes, that's right. We're more together than ever. Uh, I'm happy for you two. Marinette? Well, I mean... Together. <laughs> we came together is what I mean. How about you guys? I'm so glad to see that you guys patched things up. I knew you two were meant for each other. Marinette, you know perfectly well that Adrian and I are only just friends now. All right, we'll leave you two together now. Enjoy the visit. <laughs> I still can't hear a tune. I need you, please, Luca. Thank you, Kagami. You're welcome, but I'm staying. You'll probably still need me. Hello, Veronique. Adrian! Did we have an appointment? Is there a problem with your statue? No, Veronique. I just came with my friends for fun. Oh, excellent! If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Hmm? Veronique, you have an appointment with Mayor Bourgeois in five minutes. Very well, Alliance. I'd better hurry. We're discussing something new for the museum. But it's still a secret. I'll invite you all to the opening of this new hall. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Isn't she so great? Why don't we start in the Hall of Columns? Remember when you mistook me for a statue, Marinette? Uh, yeah! I remember really well, so well that maybe we should actually go check out another statue. What do you say? You kissed me. <laughs> yes! Oh, no! Why, well, you call it a kiss, but it's the statue I almost kissed. It was more of a miss than a kiss. <laughs> I thought you were made of wax. My lips did get very close, but technically, you can't really call it a kiss. What's the official distance for a kiss, anyway? Adrian's problem is that he doesn't realize his feelings for Marinette are love. I think it's because he's a kind and generous person. He loves everyone, and everyone loves him back. He's lost in a jungle of love. He can't read the signals Marinette sends him. That's true. Learning to read Marinette's signals is a complex endeavor. It took me a lot of time. And you leap backwards to stand at a respectful distance. I get it, mind you. It was awkward. I don't think I was feeling awkward. More like surprised. Not by what you were doing, but by how I was feeling. And how I was feeling was... Do not finish that sentence under any circumstance. Ah, sorry, ma'am. to be alone. Maybe I can never be myself with anyone. Maybe I should just give up being in love! Well, I think you may have more in common with Adrian than you think. Trust in yourself for once. Feeling jealous? I don't know. All I know is that I'd like to be in Luca's place. Then you should take his place. I will not let you display this room. My daughter, I mean the people of Paris, could get acomatized. This will remind them of Ladybug and Cat Noir's disastrous failure following the disastrous loss of the miraculous that Ladybug was supposed to be guarding. And this may lead to many more disastrous disasters. Just the thought of it is harrowing enough. Did I mention how disastrous this could be? Now, Mr. Mayor, not opening this hall would be disastrous for people's hope. I'm sure Ladybug will get the miraculous back and the superheroes will come back. What if Ladybug fails over and over? What if we never see those superheroes again? Trust me, politics is about adapting uh, to the times, and the times are telling us to throw all these away. You're wrong. These times call for hope. I will show these statues no matter what. You won't if I have your museum shut down due to hygiene problems. There are no hygiene problems here. Then there are no superhero statues. No statues, no hygiene problems. It's the status quo. You know, Marinette, this is the first time I... Oh, Mr. Falkroth! Don't forget to send Kitty Section their contract! <laughs> hey there, Jagged Stone! Rock and roll! 
Hello, Mr. Mayor. How did your appointment go? What? <laughs> <laughs> They're never gonna make it. Not without a little nudge from fate. <clears throat> They're going! They're leaving us alone! They're gonna lose us! I mean, get lost! We're lost! All is lost! It's okay, Marinette. We're not lost. We're together. You're right! We should all stay together! <laughs> Of course, the return of the superheroes. Such a fantastic idea as long as they're at my service. Kalki, your power is now mine. Voyage, my Megakuma! Manipula, I am Monarch. Do you mourn the demise of the superheroes? Well, I am giving you the power to bring them back to life, along with all their powers. Why would you do that? You're the reason they disappeared. You stole their miraculous! I didn't steal anything. Ladybug is the one who lost them. She's responsible for everything that's happening today. If Paris had another superhero leader, the other superheroes would all still be here and your museum wouldn't be threatened with closure. If you bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous, I promise to stop akumatizing people. I'm offering you the chance to give real hope to the people of Paris. Isn't that what you wanted? It is. Stomp! Your power is now mine! Transfer! Manipula, I'm transferring the essence of the Miraculous of Determination to you. It will give you the power of invulnerability. This way, magical powers will have no effect on you. Not even Ladybug and Cat Noirs. I can't get it to open! No signal. Uh, what are we gonna do? Everything's okay, Marinette. I'm here. Exactly! You're here! That's the problem! Uh, I, I'm the problem? No, 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 you're not the problem. I'm the problem. Every time I get close to you, I... Ugh, I make a mess of things. I cause disasters. Of course not. Kissing me while you thought I was a statue was not disastrous at all, believe me. I just can't tell you anything. You can tell me everything. Sorry for the delay, milady. I got held up. Hmm. Ladybug, cut more! You're going to be proud of me! The superheroes are back! And if you give me your miraculous, then Monarch will renounce evil! The Greffin Museum will once again be able to celebrate heroes! That's great! Uh, Veronique? I am Manipula now. If you really want to help us like you've always done, then reject the Akuma. Monarch's manipulating you. Don't worry, if he doesn't keep his end of the deal, then I'll defeat him with my team of superheroes! He can take his powers back whenever he wants, you know. Trust us. How can you trust Ladybug if she won't trust you? You should be the ones trusting me, Ladybug and Cat Noir. I have a team of superheroes, which you no longer do. She's right. They're gone because of me. I lost the Miraculous on my team, too. You didn't lose me? As long as Monarch doesn't have a Miraculous, he hasn't won. And we need everyone's help, including you, Veronique. You're right. You do need me. I'm the new hope. Huh? It's a trap! Ah! <laughs> Huh? Uh, you 
shows your side. Too bad for you. Illusions. Huh? What is that? Each trip contains a part of the Megakuma. So we've got to destroy them all to capture it. Let's do this! See? I was right. Ladybug is not worthy of your admiration. She doesn't want peace, or she would have agreed to your deal. You can count on me to get the Miraculous Monarch. Paris has a new superhero! Gather in pairs and get me Ladybug and Catwars Miraculous! In the meantime, I'll make sure the mayor gives way for my museum to honor the real heroes. Mr. Mayor, you're going to allow my museum to open the Hall of Heroes. Uh, yes, I, I, I... Daddy, I, I, no! Ma'am, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't. So be it. Catmar! Cataclysm! If you don't change your mind, I'm going to destroy your city hall. Are we still adapting to the times, Mr. Mayor? Daddy! <laughs> shape these days, kitty cat. We can't afford to make any more mistakes. <clears throat> Lucky charm! They look just like us. But we're one of a kind. <clears throat> you wouldn't dare, huh? milady. It's me. It's just an image, m'lady. A wax copycat. I'm your real partner. <laughs> m'lady! I'm here. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. until he authorizes the opening of the Hall of Heroes in my museum. Why wouldn't you allow it? Uh, Chloe, honey, I don't think that was a very good idea. All this is all because you were lame, Ladybug, and you lost the Miraculous because of your lameness. If you had kept me, Queen Bee, this never would have happened. And now you get what you deserve, Lady Lame. Since you're a superhero, you have no choice but to protect me from that villain. So, who's the lamest one of all? Seems like you haven't been making the right choices, Ladybug. But since you've chosen to go up against me and my superheroes, then this fight will be your last! Nothing! Cataclysm! Why waste your time trying to break my weapon, Kitty? Why not use it directly on me? She's lost her mind! That's right! Monarch gave me a little gift. I am invincible to your powers. Take care of this! Kizar! No! Ladybug, watch out! Ah! Thanks to me, hope is going to return to the hearts of Parisians! What you think is hope will only lead to despair! And how do you plan on stopping me? Your powers can't hurt me or Minotaurox! <laughs> Cat Noir, it's over. You're wrong about your power, m'lady. Your real power has never been in the objects. It's always been in figuring out how to use them. You might be invulnerable to superpowers, Manipula, but that doesn't mean you're invincible. <laughs> Bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug! Veronique, 
This magical charm will help you remember to never give up hope. We will always be there for you. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I promise that we will defeat Monarch and bring back our real heroes. But to do that, we need everyone's support. People need the hope that Veronique's museum can offer. You're right, Ladybug. I will support the opening of the Hall of Heroes. <clears throat> Found it. it. <sighs> Kanoir, wait. Huh? Thanks for what you did earlier. I couldn't destroy that wax cat noir because ever since we've been alone again without the other superheroes, I've seen you differently. I think my feelings for you have changed. I've realized that I can share things with you that I can't share with anyone else. I know how you feel. No more misunderstandings between us, milady. We really are the best partners in the world. It's as simple as that. I can't thank you enough. And because of you, I finally realized my true feelings. Speaking of, I gotta go. I have something to finish. You really have to go right now? We're about to detransform, but we'll see each other again soon. No worries. <laughs> Marinette! 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 Phew, are we out of danger? Is it over? Uh, Marinette! Yeah, uh, don't worry. Uh, Everything's okay now. Uh, good! With this whole akumatized villain thing, it's gotten so late, and now I gotta go. Besides, I have some sewing to do and some stickers to stick. See you later, guys! So, have you figured out how you feel about Marinette? Yes. I think I'm in love. Are you okay, Marinette? No, Tiki. It's a catastrophe. I think I'm falling in love.